Hello and welcome. Today we take a look at Byatt Host. Byatt Internet Services, they have a free hosting option, which is what I'll be taking a look at. This video is a review for Byatt Host, but I will quickly mention Hyper PHP and something that I've noticed. As far as Byatt Host goes, I do have a website using their hosting. You can click on the link in the description to check out the website. I also have a post on that same website about Byatt Host if you want to read more about it. I will show you the website as well, but for now, let's take a look at what's going on. So here is the website. When you open up the website, it's clear, for, for example, from the footer itself and also from the images that appear. So let me really quickly move around so you can see that this website is pretty outdated. Um, really, I don't care about the website being outdated. Oh my God, it looks ugly. Oh. Their problem. The problem with me is that they clearly haven't taken the time to update any of these things. One concern along the way is, for example, their Facebook and Twitter pages. If you take a look at both of those, you can see that posts are outdated also. They haven't made any new posts, which brings up the questions, is anybody maintaining this? Are they even there? Are human beings behind this service? Ah, nothing crazy. As long as the service runs, it's fine. At the end, these are just first signs to say so, but nothing to turn you away. Let's click free hosting and free hosting plans and actually see what they offer and how much has changed. So there's a bunch of stuff here. We get to main features. You get one gigabyte of disk space, but let's just go to complete features and see everything. So one, almost one gigabyte of disk space, 50 gigabytes of monthly traffic, which is bandwidth. We do get a domain name that they, they provide us, MySQL, file management, email, I'll show you the cPanel so you'll see all of these things. And there is a support, but once again, this is free hosting, and I really wouldn't bet on getting this support for free. Next, you have choices of domains. You can see what choices you have. There is a Vista panel. They show you how that looks like. Let's see if that's the case and what's going on. So one thing to show you is I just tried logging into a little bit of older account from June. Right now, we are in August month, and as you can see, the account was flagged as inactive. It is now reactivating. Please allow 10 minutes. Here we are finally at the cPanel. On the right side, the first thing that pops into my mind is disk quota and then disk space used, also disk free, and then bandwidth. All of these are, it just says unlimited, when in reality it should tell me that my uh, disk quota is, I believe, one gigabyte, was it? Then bandwidth was 50 gigabytes, but nothing's shown here. You have a bunch of options here, online file manager and stuff like that. Let's click backups. If you do click on a backup, you only have an instruction page, which tells you how to backup stuff. You'll have to do it manually. First backup the files and then MySQL database, pretty much what the instructions say. And that's how I was able to backup my previous website, which crashed, by the way. Yes, my, my website on free host no ads actually crashed randomly. I don't know why, but I was able to back it up thanks to actually these instructions. It was very similar uh, on the other host. We have account statistics. As you can see, pretty similar stuff to, what, to one of the previous hosts that I was talking about. Here is my video from Infinity Free Hosting. As you can see, they use pretty much identical panels. The thing that also comes to mind is their statistics are identical. The disk quote, everything says unlimited. That's pretty much it. Before I open up my website, let me give you one more thing that I found very interesting, and that's the sign-up process for Byatt Host. So I wanted to show you something that concerns Byatt Host, as well as another host, HyperPHP. They both have options for free hosting. Let's take a look at both of those really quickly. So you'll notice that free hosting offer from uh, HyperPHP 1 gigabyte disk space. Scrolling down, you can see that Byatt Host offers the same thing. FTP control panel MySQL free tech support. FTP control panel MySQL free tech support. Same stuff in same order. PH Hyper PHP doesn't offer detailed statistics. If you click here, it just gives you nothing. But let me show you something. There is a sign up button. Take a look at how this buy at host sign up. Are we noticing something? As you can see, the sign up process is identical. They ask for same things. One thing that pops up is there is this line around this particular sign up element to say so is framed. 
there's a chance that they are using iframe to actually post this here. That was the thing that popped up to my mind. I'm not going to talk about hyper PHP because it really seems that this might be an offspring for buy it host. Anyways, now let's take a look at my website. I'm going to open it and show you the loading speeds. Loading speeds seem to be okay for the most part. Sometimes on rare occasions when you open up the website for the first time, there are some issues. It's like it takes a little longer sometimes. But usually it's pretty fast as you can see, almost even instant. I also wanted to test the backing up with WordPress using Updraft Plus plugin. Since it's the most popular, they would probably disable that plugin, but they didn't. I was successfully able to create, I mean, <clears throat> apparently successfully able to create a backup, but once I tried to download all of the files, I was able to do so. No issues whatsoever. So I can say that backing up using the plugin with WordPress works with no restrictions. One thing I've noticed that doesn't work is my website has a plus button, which is a hidden menu. If you if you click on it, there a menu should pop up, but it doesn't. Here is my original website, and if I click it, this is how it should look like. But as you can see on Buy It Host, doesn't work. One thing as opposed to other hosts, comments do work here. As you see, I did post a couple of test comments really quickly just to confirm, and they work just fine. The comment, as you can see, is posted instantly. My blog has a bunch of old posts. To view those, you click the blue arrow in the bottom left corner, and in this case, as you can see, it works just fine. So that feature is also not disabled. Anyways, for the most part, Byad Host seems to be okay host. They offer the most for free with least nonsense. Couple of things to take away, loading speeds sometimes, very, very rare, but sometimes they are questionable. Try opening my website this particular post and see how long it takes you for the first time to open the website. Sometimes it's very fast, sometimes it takes like 10 seconds. The hidden menu doesn't work. And as you were able to see, your account does get suspended if it's inactive. So you'll have to either get some visitors on the website or log in manually yourself to your website or even to the cPanel sometimes. So your account is not removed. For me so far, this is one of top two or maybe even the best free host so far. Yes, there are a couple of bad things, but for the most part, it works in a solid manner. At the moment I am looking through the panel and I cannot find anything that will tell me how much data I have used each day, for example, in the last seven days, anything like that. If I click account statistics, it gives me this graph with daily stuff only, no option to get more stats, I guess you gotta pay to get those. So I cannot tell you if my website was offline, but so far I have not noticed it being offline. Still, this is what it is. I'm gonna keep testing it, obviously, in the months to come. And if I do run into more issues, look in the comments below this video as well as in the description. Also, I'm gonna post it right here at this very post if I find any more issues. And you guys are free to share your experiences in the comments below. So we get to the end of this video. We have seen that the Buy it Host does have nice features that it offers for being a free host. Sure, some of the things don't quite work, some of the things might be hidden, like for example the statistics, but overall for the most part, it works. Being the free host that it is and features that it offers what you get for free, one question remains how reliable is it, but still, Overall host gets a grade 7 out of 10 from me, a very solid 7. Loading speeds, I give it 8 out of 10. I would say that so far, this is probably the best host you can get for free. That's it. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. I will see you in future episodes. Priest, signing out. Should have brought my coat at the end of the line on my shit untold Messed up a lot, used to be waiting for something or someone to give me my spot God only show you the way, it's all up to the plan and the paper and people yeah. you brought I learned what I thought, I hope